Hello and welcome to the new user primer for Modern Tribes Tickets WooCommerce add-on, formerly known as Woo Tickets. I'm Rob from the Modern Tribe team and I want to thank you on behalf of the entire team for your purchase and support. What I'm going to walk through in this screencast and in the course of the next few screencasts is how to use this plugin, how you can actually use WooCommerce Tickets to start selling tickets for events on the front end of your site. And unlike Eventbrite tickets, this purchase will be kept entirely within the site, so users won't have to go to a third-party location to complete the purchase. This first screencast is going to be pretty basic. If you've watched any of these other primers, you know the format. I'm going to walk through in this one just the process of getting the plugin installed, getting it activated, and getting your license key hooked in. If you already know how to do this, you can probably jump ahead to screencast number two. If you don't, don't worry, it's a really easy process, and I'm going to walk you through it right now. Now, I'm assuming by this point, before we actually get started, that you've already completed your purchase of the product and have downloaded it from the Tribe website so that you have a zip file somewhere easily accessible on your computer that we can upload. That's what I've done, and here I am on the dashboard of my site, where I'm going to come into Plugins, and I'm going to go to Add New. From Add New, I'll select Upload. Choose the file from wherever it lives on my desktop, and then I'll Install Now. It'll work for a second, I'll get a message saying the plugin was installed successfully, and I actually have the option to activate it from right here on the page. I'm going to do it, but when I do it, I get this red message that says to begin using this plugin, I actually have to install a couple other products. Most of our other add-ons only require the events calendar. But, since WooCommerce Tickets does rely heavily on WooCommerce to complete the purchase, you are going to have to have both of these installed. You have to have the latest version of the events calendar and the latest version of WooCommerce. Notice what happens if I go down here, I find the latest version of the events calendar, which at the moment is 2.0.11, and activate it. So far, so good. I get this yellow message saying that the plugin's on, but I also still have this red one telling me that I've got half the equation in place, but I still don't have WooCommerce. Luckily, that is installed as well. I just haven't activated it yet. So I'm going to come down here and find it. It's called WooCommerce here. Notice that the plugin does still list itself as Woo Tickets on my install, but starting with the 2.0 release that's going to be released this week, it'll be changed to actually be called WooCommerce colon Tickets to avoid confusion. So I'm going to activate WooCommerce here. And when I activate it, I should now have confirmation that not only is this plugin installed, but I don't need to worry about installing anything else. Notice that that's the case because I don't have the red bar anymore. And at this point, the plugin is installed. We have got everything we need to begin selling our tickets using WooCommerce and using the tickets add-on. But we don't have a license key plugged in yet. What does that mean? Well, what it doesn't mean is that you're going to lose functionality. You will lose no functionality on the plugin whatsoever if you don't plug a license key in. You'll still get access to all the features. There's nothing that's going to be limited in any sense, with the exception of support and upgrades. You're not going to be able to access our support forum to get our team to help you out if you don't have a license key plugged in. And you're not going to get access to upgrades when there are new builds available, which is generally on a monthly basis. So if you've bought the license, there's really no reason why you shouldn't plug it in. To do so, come over here to Events, Settings, and go into the Licenses tab. You will see a field for every key that you have for a plugin for. So if you have a premium plugin that's Eventbrite Tickets, you have one for Woo Tickets, you will see a different license here for every one of those. That said, since I only have the Woo Tickets, now known as WooCommerce Tickets plugin installed, the only place I have a field is for that one. And notice there is no key plugged in there. So what this is telling me is you have a spot for a key, but you haven't actually added one. To add one, I'm going to go over to the Tribe website, and I'm going to come into Account Central, logging in with the credentials that I set up during the checkout process, and into License Keys. I'm going to scroll down the list until I find myself a Woo Tickets or WooCommerce Tickets license somewhere on this list. Looks like I've got one, and it's already in use on another site. This is a really easy thing to get around. All I have to do is come in here and hit Disconnect Now. When the pop-up comes up, I'm going to hit OK, and I'm going to unlink it again. And when the page refreshes here, we will see that now WooCommerce Tickets is available for me to use on the one site that it's accessible for. I have freed it up. I can now use this slot. And so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to copy the entire code and go back over to the back end of my site. I'm going to drop it into the license key field. I'm going to tab out of it. And I'm going to let it work for a second. When it finishes working, it'll tell me a green message that says valid key with an expiration date. I just want to make sure that when I save changes, that valid key message remains. If I see a red message that says invalid key, key is expired, anything along those lines, I'm going to have a problem and the key is not going to be saved. I'm not going to get access to support or updates. Make sure you see this green valid key message and if you want to be really safe, come back over here, refresh your license keys page on the tribe site and double check that the site you plugged it into is showing in the site URL field. I hooked it into a localhost environment, which is why localhost is what I'm seeing here. 
If I decide down the road I want to move my site from localhost to a live environment, we can do exactly what we just saw there in the demo a second ago. Disconnect it here, hit OK on the pop-up, and might as well be safe and come back here, wipe it from this section, and save as well. At that point, you'll be ready to use the key on any site that you wish. One last point to keep in mind here, which you might encounter down the road. Sometimes people lose a site, the site has to be rebuilt, there's a catastrophic disaster, something happens that requires you to have to re-download the Events Calendar and Events Calendar Pro or Woo Tickets or any of the premium products that you've bought. Luckily, we have a page for it right here on the Tribe website. Again, logged in with your account credentials, come into Account Central, come to Downloads, and you'll see a list of all the products you have a currently active license key for. It's always the most current release. For Woo Tickets, for example, soon to be again renamed WooCommerce Tickets, I will see the plugin name, the currently released version, and the date that that was released. There will also be this blue download button over here, and if I just hit that, it'll download the zip file directly to my computer. Then, you'll be able to go through the process that we started this screencast with, installing the plugin, activating it, and getting your license key in place. It's a very basic, straightforward process, and if you've made it through this far, you're fully configured and ready to go. I'll see you back in Screencast 2 when we walk through some of the more specific functionality related to the WooCommerce Tickets plugin. Thanks.